x plus 1 half, the whole squared, m and m quiz, 2072. If x squared plus x equals 304, what is x plus 1 half, the whole squared, equal to? Is it A or is it B? So x squared plus x equals 304. What is the coefficient of x squared? It is, when nothing is written next to x squared, it is 1. When the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1, then we can complete the square on the left by taking what is the coefficient, what is the coefficient of x? It is just 1. And what is half of the coefficient of x? It is 1 divided by 2. Then we square it. And what do we get? 1 over 2, the whole thing squared, and that is 1 over 4. And then what do we do? Add to the left and add to the right. So what do we get? x squared plus x plus 1 over 4 is equal to 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4. What is on the left side? This is nothing but x plus 1 over 2, the whole squared. So what is x plus 1 over 2 times x plus 1 over 2? And that is, what is first times first? x squared. What is outer times outer? x times 1 half, so that is 1 half x. What is inner times inner? plus 1 half x. And what is last times last? 1 half times 1 half. And that is x squared. Half x plus half x is 1x. And that is just x. And 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 4. So we are actually adding 1 over 4 to both sides. And why? Because we can complete the square on the left. And when we complete the square on the left, it becomes x plus 1 half the whole squared. So we get x plus 1 half the whole squared is equal to 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4. 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is 4 over 4 and that is equal to 1. So we get x plus 1 half the whole squared is equal to 1. So this is what we need. If we want to go further you now take the square root on both sides so you get x plus 1 half on the left and on the right side, you should get either plus 1 or minus 1. So let's go with plus 1 as the blue solution. And let's go with the red one as the negative 1 solution. So x plus 1 half becomes either positive 1 or negative 1. Positive 1 or negative 1. So x plus 1 half equals positive 1. Let's call that x1. Subtract 1 half from both sides. What is 1 minus 1 half? 1 half. So you get x1 equals 1 half. For the other solution, let's call that x2. And x2 plus 1 half is equal to negative 1. Subtract 1 half from both sides. And what do we get? x2 is equal to what is negative 1 minus 1 half? Negative 3 over 2. So what is our solution set? negative 3 over 2, 1 half. Negative 3 over 2, 1 half. And this is George Matthew saying goodbye and good luck to all of you. Hey, do well.